Today we'll be discussing how to properly set up your Nanoram handheld ramen system out of the box. When you receive your Nanoram, it will come packaged with the following. One protection cap, a lithium ion battery, one accessory pouch that comes with a point and shoot adapter, a liquid vial holder, a bottle adapter, and a polystyrene calibration cap. There will also be an immersion shaft. You'll get a pouch containing six glass vials, a 12 volt charger with multiple adapter heads. You'll get a LAN cable, a pair of laser safety goggles, a stylus pen, an O-ring replacement kit, and a USB drive with the NID software. To put the battery into the Nanoram, you want to take the battery compartment door, turn it clockwise, pull it out. Then you want to take your battery and match up the battery contacts to the bottom there. Put it in. Once it clicks, it's in. And then there's also a tab for easy removal. Then you want to take your battery door and screw it back in. When you first boot up your Nanoram, you're going to be asked to perform a calibration validation. Now to do that, you'll need your polystyrene cap. So we're going to install that first. What you'll want to do is you'll want to take the notch right here and match it up with that little piece in there. And when you put it on, you want to wiggle it around a little bit until you find it. Just go down, push it all the way down to make sure that it gets the proper signal. To power on the Nanoram, you'll want to press and hold the power button for around three seconds. This will bring up the initial screen. You'll then get a screen that shows a percentage to completion indicator. After this, you will get to the user login screen. The first time you start up the instrument, you'll want to start it as admin, and you'll want to type in the password 999999. You want to lower that and log in. It'll then ask you to change your password. Passwords can be 6 to 20 characters long, and they can be either numbers or letters. In this case, we're just going to put in B W T E K 1. As soon as you've changed your password, it will ask you to perform a performance validation. Now, since we already have the polystyrene cap in, we're just going to press yes, and we're going to press validate. As soon as it is passed, this opens your system up and allows you to begin use of your system. We can press done, and then we can go to the home screen. Since you've logged into your system as an admin user, you'll have full access to all of the settings. You'll be able to change your operational presets. So you'll be able to change your laser power, your minimal HQI, the number of hits, the ramen shift, what libraries you're using, and the mixture HQI. As soon as you've made any changes you want to save, you might want to save a new uh, setting. You can also adjust which wireless networks or Ethernet uh, networks that this unit can get on. You can add new user accounts in the create, so you can add different levels of users, including admin, developer, or operator. And you can also view current accounts. As, right, as of right now, we only have the admin. Now you can also conduct another performance validation. In this case, if when you're doing your performance validation, your cap is not on properly, and we do the validation, we'll see that it will say that you failed the performance validation. If that happens, that will lock out your system. So if we go back to the home, you'll see that you have no access to your system anymore. Now that's easy to fix. As we see here, the polystyrene cap wasn't plugged in properly, so we just have to plug it in properly and then 
conduct the validation again. As soon as that passes, you will have the ability to use all the functions of the NanoRAM again. As you can see, everything is unlocked. Everything in settings is also unlocked. You can also change your screen sa saver settings. You can make it longer or shorter, or you can disable it if you don't want it to go to a screen saver. There's also other general settings. For example, you can set your system clock, you can set your password expiration time, and you can add a couple more fields to your methods. You can also change different languages depending on your needs. That is the basic setup and settings for the NanoRAM. In our next video, we'll discuss how to go about running your first scan. So you can find more technical support videos at bwtech.com. And thank you for watching.